Welcome back to my studio. Hi everyone. I just wanted to walk you through this project I just made for my kids for Thanksgiving. My kids like to go um, soul winning. So I picked up these little um, New Testament Bibles at the Dollar Tree. Just a plain little Bible, but I made it into a Soul Winner's New Testament. And I did it by taking this and punching out some cardstock. Blue for my boys, pink for my girls. As you can see, the blue one turned out better, so I will show you on that one. Although I did add this cute little um, heart punch to the girls. And then on the boys, I added a hope and peace. Okay, so I wanted to put the Romans Road in here. So number one was... For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And at the bottom, I put number two, so to make sure they go the right direction, Romans 6, 23. Make sure they see everything. And then on that one, it's right here. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Number three is written down here, Romans 5, 8, which is found back this way. And it says that God commended his love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And then it tells you what the next one is, Romans 10, 9. That's number 4. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And number 5. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Then it tells you where the last one is, number 6, Romans 8, 38-39. And that's after they've already bowed their heads and trusted Jesus as their Savior. And it has, I'm going to go ahead and get this better highlighted. And I'll read it to you. Well, there's um, more verses, but this is the ones that I picked. For I'm persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So I have all these in there. And to make these pages more durable, I have taken Mod Podge and I've Mod Podge the pages. And then I have, after I get the Mod Podge on it, you have to put your fingers like this and pull your Bible back. And you can dry with your heat gun. And then go to the next page because if you don't <laughs> it'll stick to the page even if you have this one dried and then you're going to the next one you don't want to lay it down over the dried page because it'll still stick to it if you're using your heat gun just some tips if you decide to do this but i wanted to make it really durable and i know that if it's from the dollar tree it's not that durable unless you make it durable so I went, before I did um, anything to the Bibles, I took it and split it in the middle. And I broke it in by doing this on each side. All the way down the Bible. Until you get back to the middle. And that helps it be bendable and not just crack off the spine. It's real durable that way. Well, 
I hope this was something that you got some benefit from. God bless.